Hey everybody, Comic-Con has provided a ton of new details for Stranger Things fans. Between that masterful trailer, the teaser, and the truly epic poster, the time has come to take a closer look at what we've come to call the Thessal Hydra. Now since the Super Bowl ad, we've really only had two Thessal Hydra depictions to study, Will's sketch and the brief live action shot. But this is really the first time we've gotten a good look at the creature's head. Not so much the face, but we'll get to that. I have to say the creature's head looks insanely menacing. I really like how tall that teardrop style head is. It's very reminiscent of a witch's hat, which makes it just a tad more unsettling, if only on a subconscious level. And the way the head moves from side to side like that is so damn chilling. And I was just surprised by how fluid that was. It's much more fluid than I imagined looking at the poster. Now if you examine the facial area, there is not much you can say definitively. But considering where the Hydra comes from, I could really see it having a flower mouth just like the Demogorgon. There is a vertical line in the center of the face and some diagonal lines to the left and the right. And that really seems to suggest a flower-like mouth, but it's strange. Uh, depending on how closely you are zoomed into the face, you will see a number of different facial possibilities. Up close, I'd say it's a very small flower mouth, almost like a beak. Uh, but when you back up, I can almost see a horizontal mouth or a lower lip at the very bottom of this teardrop style head. From this far back, the diagonal lines turn into smile lines, and this long vertical line looks just like a human philtrum. You know, that little groove just below your nose? But because of the extended length of that line, it almost reminds me of a Dr. Seuss character, like one of the Who's or something. And if you back up far enough, I swear you can see a nose-like hole at the top of that philtrum. It almost looks like the nose hole of a human skull. There is also another line just above the right smile line, and that looks kind of like a tightly closed eye. But uh, I'm apparently the king of seeing pareidolias, so uh, who knows? I would say it will either be a flower mouth, a more traditional humanoid face, or a combination of the two, such as maybe a flower mouth and just eyes above it. I kind of feel like it would be good to move beyond just the flower mouth. If this creature is truly the brain of the Upside Down, I think eyes would go a long way in understanding its emotions or intentions. Now as far as the brain, which I previously theorized is a nod to the hive mind that is the still-rooted Thessal Hydra. In that video I introduced the idea that the Thessal Hydra was actually ever present in Season 1, existing in a plant-like form far beneath the library in the Upside Down where it is directly impregnating hosts with slug offspring via the tendril-like tentacles which seem to reach up through the ground. But if the Hydra has no eyes, it's possible that it sees entirely with its mind. The Comic-Con trailer has confirmed to us that the Hydra possesses a form of telepathy because we heard it call out to Will. Hey guys, do you see the... If it was originally rooted deep underground in Season 1, it probably used its tendrils to mentally map the topography of the land around it. Uh, just think about that. Uh, was there any location in the Upside Down that was not covered in some kind of vine growth? If that vegetation is essentially the fingertips of the Hydra's limbs, that means it reached all over the Upside Down, and possibly all over the entire parallel world. Which means that when someone steps on a tendril hundreds of miles away, the Hydra would know about it. What a security system that must be. But uprooting itself means that it must have broken off nearly all of its extended tendrils, which would lessen its ability to fully understand its surroundings if it did not have eyes. If this were the case, it would have to find a way to compensate. Once it crosses over into our dimension, it could use the minds of those around it to project a kind of sonar. Now I know this seems a little far-fetched, but the Demogorgon didn't have eyes either so it must have employed some kind of blood scent sonar in order to actually move around so well. But remember, the Demogorgon also had telekinesis, so it would seem that potentially all upside down beings possess a kind of alternate sight or alternate awareness. Something I want you guys to consider is whether or not the Hydra is a vertebrate or invertebrate. Will's Hydra sketch seems to show many elbow-like joints in the Hydra's legs, but the legs in the live action version really seem to be much more curved, like they are actual tentacles or roots. But at the same time, there is clearly some kind of shoulder structure going on there. 
This might be the best depiction of a plant-animal hybrid I've ever seen. I have no idea where plant ends and animal begins. It's perfect. Besides the face, the one thing the creators seem to be hiding from us is what the Hydra's feet look like. They had a great opportunity to show us that on the poster, but for some reason, they aren't even visible below the clouds. So it makes me wonder, why does it seem like the Hydra is floating in the sky? There are no legs visible anywhere on the horizon. Why is that? Now after considering this, and really thinking about how such a large telepathic creature could move around so easily, I've developed a new theory video that I think you'll really like. If you enjoyed this creature study, please click the like button and be sure to check out my next video, How the Hydra Could Use Telekinesis to Defy Gravity. Uh, this idea was something I had while working on this video, and I just loved the idea so much I, I had to give it its own theory video. So tell me, what do you think of these new glimpses of the Thessal Hydra? What kind of facial features do you think it will have? Do you think it will actually have eyes or just a flower mouth? And if it doesn't have eyes, how do you think the Hydra will see? And how would you explain how the Demogorgon sees? Let me know in the comments below, you know, and uh, hit me up on Twitter at Planet Calvin. Let me know what you think. I'm really interested. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this. And uh, thanks for watching.